Hello everyone, a warm welcome to CBS Institute YouTube channel. In this video, how to find a power of a digit in factorial. This is a very important part in, in SSE exams and RRB MTPC also. So, a power of digit is considered into two categories, uh, the two models. The first model is if uh, finding power of digit is completely prime and finding power of digit is a composite. Okay. So, if it is completely prime means what like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. So, these are the prime that is a uh, first category and the second category is called a compo uh, composite category again composite categories are run at the two types the first type is called if given composite number is completely can make a, a single a power of prime single a power of prime let me go for example of 4 4 can write as 2 square and completely prime 8 can come for power of 2 cube so here 2 is a complete single prime 9 is 3 square and 25 is 5 square 27 is 3 cube 125 is 5 cube so nothing but what a composite number is simply a forming into single power of prime is the first category and the second category is product of co primes what mean by co primes so co prime is what if any two numbers have only one is a common factor any two numbers have only one is a common factor those are called a co prime so if number are expressed to a co prime which is not having the single prime power test let us go for example of 6 6 is not possible to write a power of single prime that's why you can write into 2 into 3 here 2 comma 3 are a co prime next to 10 10 is not possible to write a single power of a prime so that's why you can write is 2 into 5 here 2 and 5 are called co primes and next 12 so 3 and 4 next to 14 2 and 7 so 12 is not possible to write a single prime that's why you make into power, uh, product of co primes is 3 and 4 and uh, 14 is 2 and 7 15 is 3 and 5 18 is 2 and 9 and 20 is 4 and 5 totally there are uh, three types of model we are going to discuss in in this topic power of number so let us go for the first example of a prime in this method we use a, a prime quotient technique what is mean by prime quotient technique let's discuss very clearly and go to the question of the first model it is we are going to find about a power of number we followed by a prime quotient technique what is mean by prime quotient technique means so before prime quotient technique you need to understand quotient what do you mean by quotient quotient means what a number of multiples of divisor from 1 to respective range of number is called an a quotient okay so only quotient the only number of multiples means multiples of divisor Divisor only gives the power of divisor so that's why we need to find a quotient of number okay so this is a base concept to find about this number let us go for simple example of find the power of 2 in 5 factorial when you elaborate a 5 factorial you get 5 4 3 2 1 so what is our question find a power of 2 means only need to multiply 2 multiple what are the 2 multiple range from 5 it is only 2 and other is 4 so when you multiply you get what is the power of 2 it gives you and 2 qubit is only so this is a method to identify this one so and what is mean by a prime question technique means what a take the range take the range divide by digit power one take the range a digit square and up to get a, up to get a less up to get a less okay let us take about it is 5 first 2 power 1 in 5 expansion 5 factorial expansion is it possible to get 2 value as yes, absolutely in expansion of 5 is it possible to get 2 square as yes, definitely in expansion of 5 cube 5 factorial is it possible to get 2 cube value no not at all so in 5 expansion it start only from 5 but 2 cube means what 8 it is override value of 5 factorial no need to take this one so take only quotient take only quotient so number is not required to divisible properly only focus on the quotient when 5 divided by 2 it gives quotient is how much 2 it gives how much quotient it is 2 when 5 divided by 2 what is the quotient 2 no need to divide it is very perfectly only consider the quotients only when 5 divided by 4 what is the quotient it gives 1 so 2 plus 1 gives you how much 3 so what is the power of 2 in 5 part only is 3 so this is an, uh, a normal uh, processor method this is an easy for the given factorial is very less than of 10 if it is 20 30 40 is very complicated it is okay so let's go for other example of the same question with the other 
range. So the same question we're going to solve with technique of sum of the quotient. What is meant by sum of the quotient means what? Summing the quotients till the last quotient less than the half digit. Okay. Summing the quotient till the last quotient less than half digit. Okay. Let's go with a simple technique. What is the technique? It is summing the quotient till the last quotient is less than half digit. Is. Okay. Let's go for the same question. Okay. This is very important and very less uh, uh, less time taking concept. It is. What does this? So when 10 divided by 2. So 10 divided by 2. It gives you quotient is how much? 5. It gives quotient is how much? 5. Is it 5 more than uh, more than 2? Yes, it is. Now again do with the 5 divided by 2. What does the quotient gives you? 2. Okay, 2. Is it 2 equal to 2? Is less than? No. So divide by 2 again with the 2. What is the quotient? 1. Is it 1 less than the 2? Yes. Then stop it is. Then summing all the this quotient 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 1 gives you how much 8 this is your final answer okay summing the quotient till the last quotient less than the digit what is the digit is 2 10 divided by 2 what is the quotient 5 is it less than the 2 no again divide with 5 by 2 what is the quotient it is 2 so when 2 divided by 2 what is the quotient is 1 so is it 1 less than of 2 yes it is so 5 plus 2 gives you 7 7 plus 1 gives you how much 8 this is an answer of a 2 power in a 10 factorial next find the power of 2 in 10 20 factorial i use a sum of the quotient technique it is when 20 divided by 2 so when 20 divided by 2 so what is the quotient it gives you 10 when 10 divided by 2 what is the quotient it gives you 5 and 5 divided by 2 gives you quotient 2 and 2 divided by 2 gives you quotient 1 15 17 and 18 so what is the final answer of so 18 what is the power of 2 in 20 factor it is 18 okay i use which concept as summing the quotient technique okay let's go for other example next question find the power of 3 in 20 factorial okay so uh, 20 factorial 20 divided by 3 what is the quotient 6 when 6 divided by 3, what is quotient 2? So 6 plus 2 gives how much? 8. So take the quotient till the last quotient less than the digit. Okay. Take the quotient last quotient less than the digit. Okay. What is the last quotient? It is 2. 2 is less than 3? Yes, absolutely. What is the summing of 6 and 2 gives you how much? 8. So what is the power of 3 in 20 factorial is 8. Okay. So what is the uh, prime quotient technique? So take a number of multiples of divisor. Number of multiples only gives the power of when it is multiplied. So factorial means what? A product of multiplication, nothing but product of successive terms. So what is the concept? Summing the quotient till the last quotient, till the last quotient less than the given digit. Okay. So this is a concept we are applying in finding a power of digit. Is. Let's go for the different example of first model. After the first model full completed, then we go for the second model. It is. Next, find the power of 5 in 100 factorial. It is. 100 factorial means what? You can do divide with the 5. 100 divided by 5 what is a question 20 okay what is a question 20 so 100 it's divided by 5 what a question gives you 20 so 20 more than 5 is 20 divided by 4 is a question is 4 so what's your answer 24 so why i stop at 4 because 4 is less than the 5 that's why i stop at 4 so 20 plus 4 gives you something is how much 24 so what's your what is the answer of 5 power in 100 factorial is 24 okay go for the next question find the power of 7 in triple 7 factorial so how to answer this one use a, a prime quotient technique test so when triple 7 uh, divided by 7 what is the quotient test triple 1 when triple 1 divided by 7 so 7 ones are 7 7 ones are 7 gives you how much 441 7 fives are how much 35 okay next to 15 divided by 7 it gives you how much 2 so stop why here the quotient is less than the digit okay so continue the process till the last quotient less than the digit okay so 11 so 15 11 plus 15 gives you 26 28 now what's it is 128 it is what's your answer 128 is so 11 plus 15 gives you 26 26 6 plus 2 gives you 28. So, what's your answer? 128 is the final answer. Okay. Go for the other model of the first category. Find the power of 3 in 20, 21 up to so on 40. Is it the given expression is possible to write factorial? No, not at all because ended with 40 now starting with 1 so that's why it's not possible to write make a factorial but how to represent a given fraction given expression into factorial i just go on this way 40 39 up to so on and 20 is, is already given the question but if you represent it 40 factorial you required a multiplication of 19 18 up to so on 1 these are missing so these are i multiplied a numerator and divided a denominator so leave the expression as an 
given okay so you can write it as 40 factorial s you can write it as 19 factorial s okay so basic powers indices rule a power m by a power n is equal to a power m minus n so therefore when i divide 40 divided by here it is when i divide 40 divided by 3 what is the quotient 13 13 divided by 3 quotient 4 and 4 divided by 3 quotient 1 so similarly and uh, uh, 19 divided by 3 quotient 6 6 divided by 3 quotient 2 what does it is 8 so what is the sum of all this value gives you this is 18 okay so 3 power 18 divided by 3 power 8 so what is the final answer 3 power 10 what is the power of 3 in uh, given expression is 3 power 10 so this is a basic method this is a concept you can easily answer this question okay the same question we're going to use some uh, some uh, base logic to answer the same model of the question okay let's go for logic so what is the last number of of the given expression is 40 you take it as 40 factorial what is the before number of 20 it is 19 19 factorial so we already uh, did some very examples on this concept you can directly go for the quotient when 40 divided by 3 go give quotient 13 13 divided by 3 4 4 divided by 3 quotient is 1 and 19 divided by 3 quotient is 6 6 divided by 3 quotient is 2 so 17 plus 1 18 18 minus 8 gives you how much it is 10 so this is a method you can easily answer this one okay so no need to write a base and base here it is this is 3 power and this is 3 power no need to write base you can exam directly do this simple concept okay 13 plus 4 17 17 plus 1 gives 18 18 minus 8 gives you how much 10 so when we have a division rule use a subtraction concept okay what's your answer 10 is a final answer